Enshrouded's first big update is out now. Don't like to read the patch notes? Then let's go over the highlights together and see what's new. Introducing Hollow Holes, a series of unique, massive dungeons, one in each biome. We've heard the community's call for more challenging combat exploration, and with this new update, we're excited to bring it to you. With the introduction of dungeons, we are also expanding our enemy faction, adding new craftable props, exclusive legendary rewards and your hard-won trophies, a mysterious crafting station with its own recipes, and new quests, one of which leads you to a brand new spooky NPC. But that's not all. We are also removing the 60Hz limitation and updating our camera motion to support higher frame rates and refresh rates. We have also reworked one of our towns, Willow Crush, that you can explore, as well as some of our locations that have been improved and are now more polished. For those enchanted by mystical worlds and cozy underground homes, we've crafted round doors and windows just for you. Get ready to elevate your creations to new heights or new lows. And wait, there is more. Now you can actually sit down on furniture. Whether you've had a long day and need a break, had an urgent need to isolate yourself and think for a while, or just want to enjoy the view with your friends, the possibilities are endless. Are you a botanist at heart? We've got you covered with potted plants. Simply visit Emily the farm and once you have crafted a kiln to access various types of leafy friends. And that's not all. We're expanding the variety of tree seedlings too, available at your seedbed station. Now let's talk about quality of life updates. Our loot UI design has received an overall. You are also now able to craft stacks of items instead of having to furiously spam the space button. The gift UI has also been greatly improved for ease of transferring items. Content of magic chests is also now available for workshops. That way, you no longer have to sprint from your chest to the workshop. Want a more in-depth player stats? We've got you covered. Stack splitting has also been enhanced, allowing for more flexibility in splitting stacks. With the new ping function on the world map, multiplayer coordination just got easier. No more shouting at Steve for going in a completely opposite direction. Simply point them to the specific area you want to meet up on the map. And lastly, for those struggling to find friends servers, worry no more. You can now locate servers via IP address with an added feature to conceal the address for those of you that stream, so that Dark Sasuke will not raid your base while you are out on an adventure. Ha! <laughs> and you thought that this is it. There is more. But who am I kidding? If you're interested in seeing all the fixes and improvements, look out for the patch notes available on Steam, Discord or our website. And if you want to help us spread the word, comment below with good work guys. And until then, we will see you in the next one.